Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this one I'll be showing you how to build a vine farm. Similar to this one, doesn't have to be as big as this one, you can build it whatever size you like because it is a one wide tileable design. Now there are no special tricks here, this is still a manual farm where you'll have to shear all of the vines individually. However the design means that it's very cheap, simple and easy to build but you will have to collect all of the drops manually, however that has been made very convenient for you by the water stream down the bottom. Here is a side on view of the farm. It is a one wide tileable design, meaning you need to know how to build one of these sections and then you can simply repeat it over and over again to make your vine farm larger. Now this is very cheap to build, all you need is a bucket of water or a water source, four vines, 25 building blocks and five cobblestone walls and with that you'll be able to build one of these sections. So if you wanted to build a 10 wide farm all you need to do is multiply those resources by 10 and you know exactly what you need to build this. So there is a reason there are some additional wall blocks on the side over here. That's so you can count the height of this cobblestone as the dimensions of this farm are quite important. It is 12 blocks high and eight blocks across from one side to the other. Now the reason you want to get the height of this wall correct is because these cobblestone blocks and more importantly the vines that are on them we want them to be out of reach of the player. These are what I call our cedar vines meaning that we're going to shear the vines that grow down from them but not these vines themselves because we wouldn't want to accidentally remove all of the vines in the farm and then have none left to shear. So make sure you include the cobblestone blocks at the bottom of the farm here. It's important that the cobblestone walls collect to them because they are used to collect the items. So when the player uses the farm, they are going to walk along these blocks here. They are able to look up at all the different vines and shear them. And then the vines that fall down will either hit the back wall right here and fall down onto the player. They will land on this block where the player can pick them up or they will fall into the water and that's the reason that we have the cobblestone walls here. So let me throw this block into the water, it's going to push it along and because it's on top of the wall it means the player who's standing here can pick the item up. So if you plan on building this, pause the video right here, this is going to be your template for rebuilding it in your own world. You just need to build one section of this and then repeat it over and over again depending on how big you want your farm to be. I believe there is only one more thing for me to mention and that is the technique in which you want to use these vines is by shearing them from the bottom upwards like so. If you start high up like I will do now you'll see that all of the vines disappear from below it and you only get the one. So the idea is to look forward and to mine all of the ones at this height and slowly make your way upwards. And that is my tutorial on how to make this vine farm. It's extremely simple and easy to use and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like on the video. As always, thank you for your support and I will see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye bye.